guys. I ended up not doing a sumo deadlift today because the the rack where like the floor is in wood so my feet don't slip was taken for like probably two hours so I just ended up moving to like a regular rack and I didn't have my uh, deadlift shoes so I couldn't do sumo but it didn't end up working out for me because um, uh, as you can see I was pretty strong during conventional. I was like the first time like I kind of pushed it a little and I got up to 545 conventional deadlift like relatively easy. I bet I could have done it for maybe one or two more reps after that but um, yeah that makes me actually really happy because I, I know when I move back to sumo that I'm going to be extremely strong because if you're strong during conventional you will be strong during sumo. Like it's crazy the difference like once you add like some powerlifting movements to your workouts like if you want to also work on your physique your workouts probably get extended like another 45 minutes which is which is honestly not the worst thing if you have time it's kind of fun being in the gym all day but but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna get focused and uh i got i Look in the mirror though, like look at this way. Oh true. Yeah bro. Damn this gonna What'd you say? I was supposed to record a real for gorilla? For uh ginger. I've been mean, yeah. strange. Damn. You're chasing that like karate physique. Bro, look, bro, you low key got like Jeff's side genetics. Like, like that, to, like you can hit, reach that level of aesthetics. Yeah. Like, just, just hop on a little TRT like Jeff, Jeff. and, you know, become IFBB. You guys, isn't it, isn't it good? Back, back home, it's good to be back home. Fucking at the home gym. Most factory's a little busy though. Dude, it gets packed. Yeah. Adam ruined the place. Ever since Adam no. showed up, really there's like a thousand kids here coming up to Adam. <laughs> like, Adam. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> no, but this is the OG, this is the Mecca. This is really the Mecca. I told Gabe about the stream back in the day, and then next thing you know, he's showing up. Um, <laughs> so, for you guys watching, Muscle Factory, it belongs to me. Like, it's literally my fucking gym. We, guys, we, guys, we literally ruined this gym. Like, there's like these like hard ass bodybuilders, like, all oh, fucking stone cold, and now there's like a bunch of fucking like Bro, TikTokers and shit. You'll see sometimes, you'll see sometimes, like these guys are gonna be just fucking jacked out of their minds. <laughs> you got some kids just recording in the locker room, they like that stare you in the eye. Like, yeah. hey, hey. They're, they're, you see them walking in the locker room, you're immediately putting your head down and not saying a single word or anything. Bro, honestly, I, fu I, fu I fuck with the big ass bodybuilders here. It's just they don't fuck with me, I feel like. Not at all. Yeah, but it is what it is. That's the life. That's life. Uh, uh, uh. Light and the bulbs you, need to change it to? you just need to get rid of the blue light. So oh, you, you, you fucking, you up, 
you up the fucking orange light and then you I don't fucking know. But this is the oh, dilemma. That be looking valid. You be looking valid, bro. I feel I don't know if you do. Wait, maybe you should hit hit the He's over here. Oh, he moved, bro. He's like, he moved. Bro, he's like fuck you. This guy there's a guy there eating his subway sandwich while we're trying to get like a flick. <laughs> sorry, sorry, bro. All right, you want to check out that? That looks promising. Yeah, let's go. You go at him and then I'm next. Shit in the ground. And then over by the car a little bit more. Deadlifts did not go as planned, to, or you know, yeah, deadlifts did not go as planned today, but that wasn't necessarily a bad thing. So, but yeah, um, I was initially supposed to do sumo deadlift, but my feet would have slipped if I used those wood platforms. And I was even thinking about bringing my deadlift shoes, but um, I was like, all right, I'm gonna wait for the main platform today. But it ended up just being too much, so I ended up just taking the wood platform, doing some conventional work. But um, it went super well, hit 545, uh, like with relative ease. Like I'm, so I was talking to uh, Chris, a uh, professional week guy, you guys might know him as, but he was, he just like was emphasizing to me about like how the brace is so important. And he's like, I was just so baffled by how he was able to deadlift with such frequency and like not be snapped up every day. And he's, he says his back leg never hurts. He's just like, most of the load is like on my core. And so today I was like really focusing on getting that like good brace and I know it probably wasn't like perfect but it really helped my back felt great um, and yeah the, the weight was just moving off the floor I was I was getting like excited and it, it's nice it's nice when you're deadlifting and you know you have that confidence obviously when the weight gets gets like heavy or getting you're getting to like that that higher percentage difficulty point for your body you know you're gonna get nervous notice I noticed like so the first time like a lot of times like my friends have like gone for 405 for the first time like they get in their head about it like three even 385 will move like they could do you know five reps of 405 or, or like you know or like they could they could easily hit 405 like I see I see their you know 385 pull and I think that I'm like oh bro you got 405 easy and then that 405 comes and you know your your brain starts to get in the way and you know, you suck yourself out too much and you know, you don't have the confidence like, oh, I'm not gonna pull it, I'm not gonna pull it. And it's like, you never wanna doubt yourself like that. Like always just pull with all your might and if it doesn't move, it doesn't move. It's like, you know, don't don't like be timid. Don't, what, what is that interstellar line? Don't, you, you can't. For me that 545, like I hadn't touched that weight in a super long time, let alone conventional. And I just, you know, I got my heart started beating, that adrenaline started going. And, you know, when that happens, it actually gives me a confidence boost because, you know, I'm like, okay, my body is like, is getting ready for this. Like I'm getting nervous. And, you know, you should be nervous when you're, especially squatting, benching, deadlifting, literally even, even in your bodybuilding movements, you know, like it should be at a heavy weight to where you're, you know, you're getting a little nervous before you're set because, you know, it's, it's not going to be, it's not gonna be an easy set or an easy, you know, rep, unless you're just like, unless you're just like God tier and you know, your baseline strength is already like above the, what the status quo is and like you don't really need to try that hard because you're just so like genetically strong. But you know, for those who, you know, who are weak or who, you know, started weak, you know, kind of like me, you know, you really just gotta keep pushing your body. And um, you know, you'll get snapped up sometimes. like. You know, obviously don't injure yourself or anything like that, but your body will hurt and you'll be like, damn, my back hurts so much. But it's really like, it's really your muscles just haven't been used and you're just sore. Your back is just sore. And like, once I got over, like, once I got over, you know, after a certain while of lifting, you know, you start to not really get sore. And 
because you're you're in shape and you really shouldn't be getting super super sore every single day because then you're just gonna be tearing your body down this is this is only my perspective um obviously you know i'm this is what like from my experience is what like has been has worked for me but i noticed that you know okay so say i go on vacation for a week and then i come back and that first week my whole body will be sore and you know that's because that's because i took a week off and because i wasn't consistent because i was slacking and once you know after the third week you know then my body starts to i start to progressive overload and my body is not getting sore after those days and i'm recovering so much better my body knows that it that it needs to be recovering faster and it does and um yeah so like once you're in that point where you're eating good you know you're not getting horrible doms after your leg that you're not sore for three fucking days you know and you know you might be doing too much volume if you're super sore but um once you reach that point where you're not getting sore, you're eating good, and your weight is going up, you that is the that is the money spot where you are making a ton of gains, and that's why it's so important to never, you know, obviously, obviously, you know, have your fun or whatever you value as fun, do it. But um, if if that if you're if you really want to like be in that fucking gaining, you know, your progressive overloading every week, you're getting stronger. You're, every bodybuilding movement every compound you know you're increasing and you're not getting sore you're 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 making crazy ass gains and it's like yeah you go on the weekend it's like oh it's the weekend i'm gonna fuck off for a little bit and it's like yeah you can do that but then you're gonna come back the week later and boom you're you're no longer in that money spot and your body's gonna be you're gonna be sore as shit for that whole week and you're like oh yeah i'm so sore like bro my workouts are so crazy but you know that might be true two things could be true at once but you also might be slacking off on the weekends doing that other stuff so you know or not even on the weekends but just like you know not pushing it or not not doing those things and it's like the more you can consistently push it consistently be progressive over like consistently be eating good that is like you do that for four years and you're gonna look fucking insane you're what I got for a post-workout meal so I got so I got steak rice and some fruit there so